welcome to Droning America. I'm your host, Angie Vestris. Today, we're in a Midwestern city. It's a college town, and it's the capital of college football. Welcome to South Bend, Indiana. Our first destination is just down the street and adjacent to South Bend. It's the home of the Fighting Irish, and it's where our special guest is waiting to meet up with us. Lucky to have Evan Sharpley, former Notre Dame quarterback, as our tour guide here in South Bend. Thanks for joining us. I'm pumped. Thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. Right now we are on the beautiful Notre Dame campus, but where exactly are we walking on campus? Uh, right now we're uh, right next to the main building, which is the Golden Dome, uh, kind of known nationally. <laughs> uh, that's where all of the provosts and all the important people are. <laughs> uh, We've got beautiful weather today, so it's been awesome walking around campus. And I've heard that is actual 23 karat gold on top of that dome. What do you know about that? It is. Uh, I know they recently redid it over the last year, so there's a big restoration process going up there with some real gold. Um, rumor has it there are a few students that try to get up there and shave some of the gold <laughs> off. It didn't go over too well. <laughs> what are some other notable spots here in the quad? Is that the Basilica right over there? Basilica's right over here. Uh, so the Basilica, the Sacred Heart, one of my favorite places. Um, on, on Saturday game days for Notre Dame football, we would have mass there before, before the game. So it was a really special moment um, going through mass, then walking to the stadium. And then right behind the Basilica is probably my favorite place on campus, uh, which is the Grotto. So it's a replica of um, actually a grotto in France. And uh, so people go there, light candles, usually before big tests. Now it is said by many that seeing a Notre Dame football game is a spiritual experience. Can you talk a little bit about the culture that surrounds Notre Dame football here in that beautiful stadium? Yeah, I would, I would have to say that for sure. You know, for people that, um, that haven't been here, it certainly is a bucket list type of thing. Um, some people get it, you know, some people don't. Uh, and you hear that a lot of times about a place like Notre Dame. It is very special. Uh, but just the, the tradition here, uh, the feel on campus is pretty special. And it's, it's hard to explain unless you've actually been here and experienced it. And another unique feature of the stadium is Touchdown Jesus, sure. which is this huge mural you can see from inside the stadium. Yeah, so uh, yeah, behind one of the end zones, uh, with the original construction of the stadium, you could see the whole building. It's the library. Um, and so there's this big picture of Jesus <laughs> looking like he's putting his hands up, signaling a touchdown. And then uh, over the years, they've done some construction on the stadium. You can still kind of see it. It's not as plain, but it's one of the, probably the most famous places that if you come here uh, for your first time, you see a bunch of people going over to the quad, <laughs> standing in front of touchdown Jesus, putting their arms up in the air. Absolutely, so much history on this campus. It really is something to see. From a historic university rich with traditions to a booming river area in the heart of South Bend, next stop for us is Sites Park. Evan, we've made the short trek to downtown South Bend. Where are we hanging out now? Well, we're down at the East Race right now. It's a man-made little waterway, first of its kind in the U.S., uh, North America um, in the 1980s. We got a couple of buddies that get over here and whitewater rafting quite often, so it's very peaceful. If you haven't noticed, it's very peaceful down here. Of course, uh, in a couple of weeks when Notre Dame is playing <laughs> football games, downtown is going to be a little bit different. You can see kind of the downtown South Bend skyline. We'll call it behind us. <laughs> what else is there to see and do? And what are some of these buildings yeah, back here? Yeah, I guess if you want to call it a skyline. <laughs> uh, well, one of my favorite places, uh, special and near and dear to my heart, is, is the Morris Performing Arts Center. Um, a lot of uh, Broadway plays go through their Wicked uh, Rock of Ages. Uh, it's a popular place downtown. And then one other area that's kind of revitalized really downtown over the past year or so is uh, Four Winds Field. Um, they were owned by the Arizona Diamondbacks and now the, uh, the Chicago Cubs own them. So as you can imagine, we get a lot of people here from <laughs> Chicago, a lot of Cubs fans in this area. So on a nightly basis, it's a really cool place, uh, family friendly. A lot of families go there and, and watch, uh, watch the baby Cubs play. So it's, uh, they've done a great job of kind of taking over the downtown. I know they've got some great plans over the next couple of years to really revitalize uh, the downtown area. Yeah, and looking around just this area, you kind of notice these art installations and lights. What's the deal with all those? Yeah, there's, uh, there's several installations of lights, and as soon as the sun goes down, those lights go on. You definitely have to stop by and see it if you, if you haven't before. As you can see, it's just, just kind of a relaxing a relaxing area. Well, that's awesome. I'm definitely going to have to come back tonight to check it out. Evan, Absolutely. thank you so much for showing me around South Bend. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, for it. sure. It's been great. But before, before we let you go, we got to stop by my uh, my gym. We're going to have to put you through a little Sharply training workout. Um, Everyone that rolls through South Bend <laughs> uh, has to do that. So we'll, uh, we'll put you through the paces. Under one condition. Can we drone it? Absolutely. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right. I'll see you out there. <laughs> I'm not one to turn down a challenge. So off to Sharply training and Elkhart we go. Let's do this. Sharply 
weight training is no joke. That workout kicked my butt. But now it's time to freshen up and head back out to South Bend to check out the night scene. Evan was right, you should definitely come check out the South Bend River lights here on St. Joseph's River at night. It is beautiful seeing all the different color lights reflecting off the water. And this was all put here to celebrate South Bend's 150th birthday and to highlight the city's greatest natural resource. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. If you think we should stop in your city next, tweet us at Droning America to let us know why. Bye.